Hey everyone, I uh, got another unboxing for you. Um, this one is a recent purchase. Uh, very excited to be opening it um, as I've been wanting this one for a very long time. Actually, extremely long time, but I never really uh, came across it as something that I would necessarily use. Um, I'll kind of explain a little bit as towards why once I get it opened up. Um, but here we go. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm using my Spyderco Dragonfly. Um, I recently added this to my EDC, so um, just hopefully, let's see if we can get this puppy open as I just trying to cut myself there. Let's see. Another bulky box. But As you guys can see, what he got in there? Oh, another sheath. Wow. Three sheaths. I was only expecting two, but <clears throat> oh, this works. Got one Kydex. Got the leather, it's called the Sharpshooter. Dark River, Knife and Tool, Sharpshooter, and this is the, wow, Bravo 1. Um, let's see here, it's got the black micarta, black and brown micarta. Obviously you can see that it's a user. Um, got this at a fairly decent price. Uh, considering these generally go for about 150 um, on eBay and uh, came across this gentleman had it for I think it was 160 um, the reason why I got it was because he had a left-handed sheath it came with a sharpshooter sheath as well and then a fire stick so um, that was the number one purpose as towards why I wanted to um, get this. Uh, basically, this has also got the black and brown matching micarta on the fire steel. Um, so let's see if we could get this to spark here. Wow, it's got a good spark to it. As you can tell. Um, Basically the reason why I wanted this was because I've always wanted more of an outdoor use type of knife. Um, and as you guys saw in my video the other day, uh, I pretty much always used my um, SRK as my outdoor knife. Um, but this one I, I really, really wanted just basically because uh, you know it's so well known, it's so popular. Um, a very good steel, A2 steel is you know, supposedly one of the workaholics out there. Um, not that my carbon V steel on my SRK isn't, but um, I don't know. There's just something about this that's been drawing my eye for so long. Not to mention that it's um, it's already got a convex edge, uh, so I don't know. It feels feels a little bit dull. Let's go ahead and test it out on this. And not too bad. Um, fairly sharp. Doesn't feel super sharp, but uh, actually, yeah, it kind of does. Um, let's see here. The blade thickness <laughs> is compared to the Dragonfly. Um, it's not a super thick blade, but, uh, or should I say, not necessarily as thick, but it is a hunk of steel. Um, I don't think it's as thick as my SRK is. Uh, but definitely really good grip on it. Um, let's go ahead and try out this lanyard. <clears throat> oh yeah, that thing feels awesome. The jimping, that feels like it could be useful a little bit. Um, Blunt Truth had, had completely removed it. He didn't think that it was necessary. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's all that bad. It's not too bad of a 
too bad of a ramp there. Um, I don't know, maybe once I get it out in the field and test it. Uh, this is a left-handed sheath, the brown one. Um, this guy is a right-handed sheath, as you guys can probably see. And then the sharpshooter, because uh, he's a lefty, the guy that I bought this from, um, he's a lefty, so I'm kind of curious as towards why he would buy a right-handed sharpshooter sheath, because I, as far as I know, they do make these in left-handed as, as well. Um, but he didn't really state as towards why he chose that or anything, but... Um, definitely like the fire steel. I, I really like how that sparks. I didn't know that uh, Bark River had a fire steel. So, let's see. Yeah, that definitely produces a pretty good spark. Um, I'll probably do a video later. Um, still got some of the summer left. Still really haven't gotten out camping lately. Um, haven't really gone out to do anything so far. I was going to go out and do some video of shooting and stuff like that, but haven't gotten around to it. I've been kind of lazy, I guess you could say. So I don't see a patina on the blade. Um, so I'm going to have to probably patina this myself uh, just so that it doesn't rust. Not that I necessarily need it in Colorado, but... Um, for its intended use, I might want to do that. Um, but anyways, so there's the new unboxing. Um, you guys have all seen the Bravo one. It's definitely a, supposedly a good knife. I, I I won't know until I actually go out and test it myself. But um, definitely very very happy with the fact that I got you know one with a lefty sheath, uh, fire steel and everything definitely excellent value uh, for the price that I paid and um, so yeah I look forward to uh, my next video um, I've got another one coming and um, so it's gonna be a little bit different so stay tuned I'll see you guys in a minute thanks bye